everyone I'm back with another video so today I'll be sharing with you my beauty haul products that I recently purchased so let's get started so I pick up a couple of items from um, Sephora Dior Beauty and also Chanel so I'm gonna start off with the um, Sephora items first okay so first item that I pick up from Sephora is this uh, Arcona polish perfection duo so what you'll be getting is the toner and also the um, exfoliator as well um, I was testing out the product when I was at um, Sephora and what I have to say is the uh, cranberry toner smells absolutely divine I'm telling you um, I read a lot of reviews and they were saying that this product is great because it cleanses tones and also hydrates the skin as well and it contains cranberry extract which is good for the skin and it is also infused with vitamin e so um, i'm excited to try that product and also the cranberry gommage exfoliate i'm not sure if i pronounced it correctly so when i tested out this product it seems like as you can see the green is very fine it almost has this microdermabrasion consistency and I think it's it's nice to um, exfoliate your face with this sort of paste. I personally do not like um, exfoliator which has you know thick grains, it's just personally um, not my preference. So I think this would be a great product to test out. The next item I got from Urban Decay is the, uh, this slick makeup setting spray because I have oily skin. So I decided to give it a try and get the small. Usually I go for the all nighter spray, but since I have oily skin, I'm interested to try this out and see how it goes. So moving on to the next item, it is the Cordelay Beauty Elixir Toner. So I got this um, special limited edition design by Jason Wu. As you can see, this is the original one that I bought previously, you know, silver cap and just design but this is just beautiful and fancy so this is good to use as a toner a makeup fixer and also to freshen up your uh, face in the middle of the day and also when you're out so I'll usually carry this in my handbag and this is actually quite a good product so I got both now so moving on to my next uh, purchase from Chanel so the first thing that I got is the uh, retractable kabuki brush so this product is easy to use you can just put it in your bag and just pull it back and just you know um, touch up and the bristle is very soft so the next item that i got from um, the chanel counter is this le Live massage accessory this is supposed to be used uh, before you put on your moisturizer it's supposed to regulate blood circulation on your face let me show you this so it's such a slim device as you can see it comes in a nice uh, beautiful pouch and this is what it looks like it's like a very thin plastic and then when you pull it out this is after when you wash your face and you put this device and roll it up your chin this way and this can also be used on your eye area so it comes with the instruction so I need to read up on this um, so I have a better idea on how to use this product because I think this would be convenient if I'm out traveling so we're gonna move on to um, Dior products there's a couple of things that I picked up which is their makeup products and also their beauty products so we're gonna start off first with this instant cleansing water I use this to remove my makeup this is something new for me I used to use the uh, oil based makeup remover but it seems like it's not working very well for me and I have uh, blemishes from that so I decided to give this a try and this contains pure lily extract and it's suitable for all skin types so I use about two pumps 
on the uh, cotton pad and just use it to remove my makeup and so far I've used only about four pumps of this because um, I used two cotton pads first to remove the first layer and also the second layer of makeup and it's been working quite well for my skin so I've also picked up a foundation from Dior this is one of their latest um, makeup which is the uh, forever range I bought the uh, foundation in number 30 the reason uh, why I bought a new foundation is because the previous foundation that I was using which is the uh, nude air um, foundation serum was great however I find that you know it doesn't provide a full coverage for my face so I've decided to give this a try and so far it's been good it contains um, SPF 35 it gives you full coverage of your radiance and also um, shine control as well so I prefer to use this more than the uh, new air serum foundation so the sales associate has also you know introduced me to this uh, makeup base which is also part of the uh, Dior Skin Forever range so this is in number 001 and it has SPF 20 So the uh, makeup base has a slight, you know, pinkish tone to it, but it rubs off really well on your skin. You just need a little bit, and it finishes off like a very light cream consistency. So uh, I'm quite. So I've been enjoying um, this product actually. But um, I feel that after a few hours, um, my skin start to look a bit oily. So I'm not sure if this makeup uh, base is suitable for long wear. The next item that I got from Dior is their Nude Air Powder. I wanted a new compact powder because mine is almost... Because I'm almost done with my compact powder. So it comes in a beautiful, you know, compact and also the couple key brush. So I've tested out the um, product and this offer quite a medium coverage so i'm quite pleased with um, this that's one of the reasons why i wanted to buy this compact powder however i wish that you know they make more effort in terms of their kabuki brush i mean like so how are you gonna store the uh, compact powder and the uh, kabuki brush together it seems like the um, pouch can only fit the uh, compact powder. What about your kabuki brush? You know, if you put it in your bag, it's you're gonna have powder all over, you know, in your makeup bag. So that's one of the reasons why I bought the uh, retractable kabuki brush from Chanel. I wish Dior would have, you know, make an effort to, you know, do something about it. So the Dior brow stylet is my second purchase and I bought this in number 001 what I love about this product is that it comes with a you know retractable lid and also a blending brush you know so it's so convenient for me if uh, I need to touch up my eyebrows I just you know um, brush my brows and then just fill it you know with the eyebrow pencil so this is one of my favorite products and I think I need to stock up one more and just put it in my makeup bag just in case all right so the last item that I got is the Dior Addict lip glow pomade in number one this is one of their backstage pros um, collection so this Dior Lip Glow Pomade is supposed to give you this um, natural rosy tint when you apply it on your lips. So I'm excited to try this. If any of you have tried this, do let me know. Um, you know, I want to know what's your thoughts. And I've also forgotten to mention, you know, um, there has been a trend about this. Um, lipstick which is called the Kylie Jume lipstick it's like a lip enhancer lipstick 
so I've ordered this uh, from one of the websites I'll link it down below and I got this in flame weight and the other one is this Barbie doll powder let me just open this up and let you have a look at it so what this lipstick does is that it's like a you know color enhancer so when you put on this lipstick right um, it will change the color according to the temperature of your lips and it will give you that beautiful uh, glow so I've ordered the lipstick in a red packaging as you can see so it comes in a mirror as well so I think you have to put it. oh okay so you gotta press this part and the lipstick pops out let's see what it looks like So this is the uh, lipstick close-up. So it's got the uh, gold specks on it and also a flower in between. Just gonna swatch it. It glides on smoothly. So when I swatch it, you get this slight um, glow on your lips and it smells a bit like candy. So I'm excited to try this and this Barbie doll powder uh, lipstick, I'm going to give it to my friend as a birthday gift as well. So yeah, that's all. Okay, so we have finally come to an end. So if you have any questions, do leave your comment. And if you like this video, do thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.